name is Sarah Lee and I'm the department lead for our lily pad program here at Extreme Gymnastics in Lee Summit, Missouri. We wanted to give you some videos of some fun things to do with your kiddos while you're at home with them. So this is all about helping build a strong core for your kiddos. Building a strong core is like building a strong foundation of your house. It's your center of control for everything bodies do and kids need stability at home, at school, at the gym, everywhere they go. Um, when they have a strong core, you'll see improvements in their balance, their ability to perform coordinated movements, both in front of them and on both sides of their bodies, the ability to sit up straight in their chair, hold a pencil, control scissors, jump, ride a bike, all that good stuff. So what can you do at home to do a fun game for core strength? So we've got all this fun stuff and we're gonna use our feet. So. Barefoot is best. You are always recommended to do barefoot things with your kiddos. Um, every time they can be barefoot, the sensory input they get from the bottom of their feet is just awesome for their growing little brains. So, you can do it with or without shoes. I'm gonna go ahead and lose the shoes because I have pretty painted toes. But I have two towels. You can use towels, blankets, unfolded t-shirts, whatever you've got. And then pretty much every kid has stuffed animals or pillows or anything soft and lovey in their house. So I've got all of my friends right here and I'm gonna use my feet and I'm gonna squeeze them between the sides of my feet and come over here and I'm gonna move the pile like a giant crane. And you can pick them up one at a time. You can see how many of them you can pick up. Oh, I exploded them. So you're gonna move them. And then once you've moved them all to this side, make sure you move them back so that way you're working both your left and your right side, and as an added bonus, they're crossing their midline the entire time, which is unbelievably yummy and great for little baby brains as they're growing. If you've got super little bitties at home that are under two, just picking a friend up with their feet and picking them up, like this is a froggy. So we can take our little froggy friend and we can make him go ribbit, ribbit, and practice him jumping. Do that a couple of times yourself, you will feel it for sure. Um, so once they're good at picking them up with their feet, they can pick them up and drop them, and then they can go to the moving side to side, because that's a pretty coordinated movement. So if they're under three, just picking them up and putting them down is great, and then once they get a little bit older, they get a little bit better at it, they've practiced, then you can work the side to side. If you're ready for a fun challenge, you can play beat the clock, have them see how fast they can do it. Have, you can run a timer on your phone, you can download a timer app that has a buzzer, on your phone or your tablet. They love hitting the buzzer as soon as they're done. You can also do it with them. So you can say, okay, you've got to move them to this side and then get out of the way and then mommy's going to move them back to this side. And that way you get your workout in at the same time you guys are beating the clock. So that way there's not a winner or a loser. You're just trying to go for the time. And then if you're done with that and you want to play a partner game, I'm going to invite my friend coach Trisha from Modus Ninjas over and we are going to play Pass the, par pass the puppy with our partner. So this is one of my biggest but lightest stuffed animals. He's not full of beans, so if I drop him on my head, he's not gonna feel that awful. So we're gonna lay down head to head. And we're gonna hold hands. Make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> and you're going to hold him between your feet and bring him up and pass him to your friend. And then go touch the floor. And then come back up and pass him again. And you're gonna go over and over and over again. And you can do this kid to kid, you can do it parent to kid, you can do parent to parent, and have all sorts of fun. Be ready to work your core muscles, not only doing the activity, but giggling as well. Have fun, be sure if you do the videos to post on our Facebook and Instagram at XGT Kids and hashtag us with hashtag XGT Kids. Thanks for watching.